Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In today's video I'd like to look at how the US E-minis unfolded yesterday which was Friday uh, January the 17th. Now excellent day for MT Predictor because if I look here on the ES, this is a three minute chart of the ES, you can see that we had an automatic cell set up here that actually nailed the very high of the day so that caught the very high of the day uh, for you there so that would have been a, a nice setup into the first target there. The only thing that um, standard traders would not have liked about this it was actually against our STF color which was blue. However if you're a bit more of an advanced trader you'll know that we like to look at the last swing into any high or low. So this is the uh, low point here there's the last swing into the low. If I right mouse click this will give the decision point of this pivot so therefore any rally off this low were anticipated to go to this DP and reverse and as you can see that was the area where that automatic setup unfolded as well. So advanced traders may have looked at that and uh, considered that for a potential trade. Anyway if you didn't like the idea of that because of the STF color at the very same time which was 1221 we had a perfect automatic sell setup on the NQ. If I look at the STF at the time the STF was red therefore there was no questions about this at all. As you can see this did actually catch the very high of the day on the NQ. Let's place the analysis on. Down to the first target would have been a lovely 6 hour profit so a very very nice trade. Remember we use correct position sizing to vary the number of lots, contracts or shares to keep the initial risk small under control. So what a brilliant trade. Short from the high of the day there down into the first target. Advanced traders may have looked to take the uh, decision point of this low as a target and perhaps come down a little bit further <clears throat> or even if you were perhaps even more aggressive than that and thought the market was going to go a little bit lower you could have either used the ATR stop or if you'd trailed one tick above the bar highs as soon as you'd meet, meet, uh, sorry, met this target here trailing one tick above the bar highs would have actually held you short right the way down into here this did actually fall in nicely with uh, high volume bars because the high volume bar that went through this first target which was here the next bar after it the high was not taken out so that indicated that the volume coming in at this level was actually selling and therefore indicated the market was going to carry on uh, a bit lower you'd have done the very same thing on this particular um, high volume bar here so this bar here again high volume bar but because the next bar which was at the 15.33 then was taken out, the high of that next bar was taken out on the 15.36 bar that indicated that the actual decline was over. So if you were a more experienced and more aggressive trader you could have got an absolutely spectacular trade. But even at the first target there which was a standard MT predictor trade setup even at the first target there that would have been a very nice uh, 6R uh, profit which is a very very good result. On the YM I particularly like this, whoops I'll just take this analysis off, there's what I was working with because uh, there was a high earlier in the day, that was the 12.21 high earlier in the day. If I place the decision point on the 15 minute chart you can see that we had larger degree uh, resistance coming in here to a high on the uh, YM a bit later at about 2 o'clock. If I right mouse click do the Elliott Wave Intermediate, this was also a Wave 5 high on the 15 minute chart. So there are two reasons why this was uh, a potential high coming in here. If we now go, to, now go down to the, <coughs> the 3 minute chart, you can see that here's our 15 minute uh, resistance area here. But what I liked about this was this was a classic and absolutely perfect VSA setup. The MT predictor VSA setup uses our high volume VSA spike, which you can see came in on the volume down here at um, that particular bar, I think that's the 1409 bar. So this indicates that the high volume coming up to this high um, was uh, to be looked at a bit more closely because the very next bar, which was the 1412 bar, reversed and it reversed not anywhere but it reversed right our decision point resistance. Remember, these are leading indicators, therefore, was on the chart in advance. Because this then reversed here, it showed us that the volume on the prior bar was actually selling, selling by professionals and not buying. Therefore, the market is likely to come down. We teach that the initial target for this is the DP off the prior swing, which is down here. So, therefore, you could have easily set up a trade in and around this red sell bar down into your first target there for a potential uh, 2.9 or can we call it 3R? 
just for easy maths, 2.9R. So that was a very nice trade on the YM and again catching the very high of the day that on the YM came in a little bit later as well. If we look at the STF at this particular level here, the STF was turning strong, therefore you'd run with your ATR stop, which actually would have come out about the same price as well. So there you go, um, a manual VSA trade setup on the YM. This is a trade setup that we teach a lot for our more experienced MT predictor customers, nailed the very high of the day on the uh, YM. On the NQ, there was no questions at all. There was a standard and automatic uh, MT predictor trade set up there, TS3 cell on a red STF, nailing the very high of the day on the NQ. All MT predictor customers should have seen that and be able to take that. If you're a bit more experienced uh, on the ES, you could have also had a look at that particular DP cell up there, and also you can see that caught the, the high of the day. So there we go, on the three um, USE minis that we follow, the ES, the NQ, and then also the YM, we had trade setups there that nailed the very high of the day. Now that's a good, uh, good situation to be in as any day trader that you can catch such great trades as like that. My personal favorite was the NQ because that was just a clear and obvious trade and it was the one that had the largest uh, profit potential. So overall a very good day for MT Predictor yesterday on the USE minis.